Hello, it's Andrew. Welcome to Collab Learning. Today's book is Story, Substance, Structure, Style, and the Principles of Screenwriting by Robert McGee. If you like my work, please like it, subscribe to this channel, check the playlists, and support me on Patreon and PayPal. Check out additional links and information in the description box below. First, I'll describe the contents of the book, talk about what's interesting about it, then I'll move on to what you can get out of it. Robert McGee is a world-renowned expert on the principles of high-impact storytelling in screenplays and in films. He is an author, teacher, and story consultant that has taught the famous story seminar for many years after spending a lifetime working in theater and screenplay writing. The story seminar course was developed when he was faculty at the film school in the University of Southern California. As a consequence of the high quality, his screenwriting workshop has earned him an international reputation for inspiring novices, refining works in progress, and putting screenwriter careers back in track. Over 50,000 people have trained. A huge number of A-list Hollywood actors, executives, producers, writers, and celebrities have taken this seminar. His story seminar was even portrayed in an acclaimed film, Adaptation, starring Nick Cage. Brian Cox played the role of Robert McKee. Story, substance, structure, style, and the principles of screenwriting has become required reading for film schools across the United States. The three primary sections of the book are elements of story, principles of story design, and the writer at work. In elements of story, we study the structure, setting, character, genre, and ideas as if they were instruments in an orchestra with story as being a comprehensive whole. In Principles of Story Design, we study the design of acts and scenes and the roles of key pivot points like the inciting incident and the climax of stories. In the final section, The Writer at Work, we study the miscellaneous challenges that come up during the creative process. The book is not focused on mechanics but more on principles. This allows writers for theater, novels, film, and television freedom to apply the fundamentals as they wish to make the stories work. Story is fundamentally about principles, not rules. Story is about eternal, universal forms, not formulas. Story is about archetypes, not stereotypes. Story is about comprehensiveness, not shortcuts. Story is about respect, not disdain for the audience. Story is about originality, not duplication. Story occupies great importance in our lives. The boundless appetite for story is grounded in the profound human need to grasp the patterns of living. We have an appetite for learning the psychology of ourselves and others. Whether we realize it or not, we also crave a philosophy and rules to live by. The stories that we believe and tell ourselves have a big impact on who we are and who we will become. In ancient Greece, the tragedy was a national institution and a culturally vital theatrical art form. 2,300 years ago, Aristotle wrote that the aim of watching tragedy is to bring about a catharsis of the spectators. In this catharsis, the ancient Greeks experienced sensations of pity and fear, which purged them of accumulated emotional stresses of their daily lives. So the Greeks left the theater feeling cleansed and uplifted with a heightened understanding of the ways of gods and men. This was brought upon by witnessing some disastrous and moving changes in the fortunes of drama's protagonists. The pressure cooker then unfolded sublime revelations of deep character. And from this we have a good story. Well told, in many ways the world of dramatic fiction can be more profound than in, in the real world. We can be driven by our love of humanity to emphasize with the suffering souls that crawl into their skins and see things through their eyes. We can experience inner sensations and dreams of the wildest power of imagination. We can laugh and contemplate humor, which is a joy in the saving grace that restores the balance of life. We can contemplate life's hidden contradictions, such as things are often not as they seem on the surface. We can see what perfection and the perfect 
and sublime moment truly looks like. Love of perfection and the perfect moment. Ultimately, story is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a deeply personal, emotional experience. In the ceremony of story, we seek meaningful insight from life with strong and often painful emotions. As meaning deepens, we reach that intellectually and emotionally satisfying end and sharp white light of insight. Values, both positive and negative, are the soul of story. Stories should be shaped around the meaning of justice, the meaning of truth, what's worth living for, what's worth dying for, what's foolish to pursue. In sum, we must pursue essential values. In effect of storytelling, we deep deeply into life to uncover new insights, new refinements of value and meaning, and create a story vehicle that expresses our interpretation to the world. The greatest stories aren't a flight from reality, but a helpful vehicle that guides us in our search for reality. It enlightens what is obscured and not recognized in real life, in our quest to find what is beautiful and meaningful in this life. There must be a quest to touch the audience. In this book, McKee educates us as to why some stories grip us to our toes while others leave us bored within the first few minutes, such as the writer must respect the audience's desire to be entertained with intelligence and integrity. This book contains excellent, specific, and practical guidance on how to craft compelling stories that would be value of anyone who works in the narrative arts. Even though story is oriented towards screenwriting, the material is universal enough to address other storytelling mediums, as well as the short story and the novel. McGee provides a classic structure of plot, progression, character development within one straightforward and profound concept of the inciting incident. The protagonist is motivated by a conscious or unconscious desire, the pursuit of which becomes the story. So, through McGee, we learn that there's an infinite number of stories to be told, but well-told stories follow a structure that's as old as mankind. This structure that responds to expectations, needs, and desires of the reader, listener, and watcher. In this book, McGee doesn't have all the answers or claim that he has them. I expect that most people will not agree with everything he has to say. But what he teaches is how to focus on what story is and what makes a story compelling in a clear and organized way. I'm not a screenwriter or a novelist, but someone who consumes these art forms. So this review has been from an analyst's viewpoint rather than a writer's. This book story has been one of the most important books I've ever read. Prior to reading this book and John Truby's Anatomy of Story, I was often half mystified with what I've seen in great TV shows and films. I had the sense of the process and could do some film critique, but I didn't have an education in a precise structure. I knew what was good and what was effective in storytelling, but not so much the hows and why it was the case. Here's a set of passages from the book that I printed a few years ago. I still find it useful. As a result of rereading McNeese's story for years, my ability to break apart what I see in films and TV shows as well as stories of everyday life dramatically improved. I understand now, better than ever before, that stories are truly the currency of the human soul. It's how we communicate and give deep information and feeling. Stories give our lives meaning and enable us to express that meaning of our lives to others. All in all, even after rereading these passages over and over again, I still discover new things. It's a very dense text. I can't say I fully understand everything in this book, even after so many rereads. That's how much substance is in the book. I truly recommend this book for people who really want to discover what makes for a good story and how they work. I recommend it for both aspiring professionals and the rest of us who are the everyday enthusiasts of story. I rate story a 6 out of 5 stars. So that's what I think about stories. Substance, Structure, Style, and the Principles of Screenwriting by Robert McGee. Please put your thoughts and ideas in the comments section. They always make a great conversation. I hope you find my review to be informative. Thanks for watching.